class D versus class AB amplifiers. Arthur in Bucks County, Pennsylvania writes to me and he says, hey Paul, I'm wondering if you can compare and contrast class D amplifiers with the more traditional class AB. I've heard so much good about class D that I went out and I bought one and I've been impressed especially with the favorable cost to performance ratio. It seems to rival my class AB amp from the 80s uh, and much closer than the cost would suggest, but I'd be interested in your take as to whether one class is inherently superior to the other class in terms of detail, resolution, and soundstage presentation. Well, um, gosh. I might throw in, I'll have to think about this, I might throw in a small snippet that engineer Darren Myers and I have lunch often and uh, I have photographed a few of our, our discussions because I thought I, I would share some of them with you. And so I might throw some of that in here. I haven't decided yet as I'm filming this that if Darren pops in all of a sudden, you'll know why. <laughs> I, I think um, the quick answer, maybe I'll let Darren do a whole little lunch with Darren. There, there's a series, right? Uh, the, the quick answer is it, it, it just really depends on who is uh, designing it, what class AB module, how you're doing it, the class D. Ooh, there's a nasty B. I like Bs, but not when they sting me. Um, and years ago, we came out with one of the first class, uh, well, they were, what were they called? I guess they were class D back then. They, it was called the... Uh, uh, the hybrid class A and it was a very early design and we worked really hard on that. It was a great sounding amplifier but it, it had its failings and I think a good class AB amplifier still beat it and I think generally if you look at PS Audio's products we have both class D based and class AB based. Our class AB amplifiers still outperform the class D's in overall everything but not by a lot so we have one product called the m1200 and the m1200 is uh, we use all ice base I ice is the um, I'm not sure if that's an acronym or or just a, a clever wording but it's a, a, a Denmark based company and they they've got some pretty slick engineers and there's great stuff out there I mean there's Bruno Putzi and Bruno is doing some brilliant work in class D's the guys you know just a freaking genius um, there's ICE, there's Hypex, there's a number of companies that are making great strides in Class D technology and I predict that in the next few years it's going to finally outpace Class AB. But right now I would say as, as much as we put our love and attention into these amplifiers, our ABs are still better. So there's your quick answer. But having said that, the M1200 and our M700 are, are two monoblock amplifiers. Those are killer amplifiers. I could live with that or those the, the rest of my life and be happy as a clam. They are so freaking good. Now those are hybrids. So we have a class A all FET stage on the input for the 700s and then a class D um, output stage from ICE on uh, the output stage of the M700 and on the M1200 we use a vacuum tube and all that goes with the vacuum tube on its input and then marry that to a 1200 watt class D amplifier on the output and uh, you know in, unless you're a really discerning listener on a highly resolving system most people aren't going to be able to tell the difference and there's a hell of a difference in price I mean, our big monoblock BHKs are giant, heavy, expensive amplifiers. Yes, they're better. But a pair of M1200s, while they're not cheap, they are, what, half the price, a third the price? And they're, you know, like that, close to it. So, yeah, that's, that's basically it. I, I will promise to bring... Darren in and have him yap on about it because he's fascinating to listen to and and I, I always learn a lot when I'm listening to Darren talk so I promise well we won't be this time but but, but we'll do it maybe uh, maybe the next day or two all right <laughs> take it easy bye